cousin uh, in Mayfair in, it was the 17th of November, 2017. Mm -hmm. um, I remember because my first shift was a Q&A with Brian Cranston uh, for Last Flag Flying. And then I was here for a few months. I went to Victoria, I went to Soho, um, and then I came back here in 2019. Mayfair was really local to where I live. I live in Brixton, so it's really easy for me to get here. And I came one day to watch a movie. I came many other days to watch a movie. Um, I always was in screen two, which is the smaller screen and didn't know that Scream 1 existed, which I always found quite funny. And then I came to watch a documentary about Ingrid Bergman, one matinee, walked up the stairs into Scream 1 and just fell in love with it basically and was like, this is where I want to work, this is where I want to manage. And I think um, everybody that knows me in the company and my friends and family all know, like, I genuinely think this venue is the best venue. Um, like in the country um, and I think you have to feel that way for your you know your venue to be a success it's completely unique so that was why Mayfair for me the Curzon Mayfair is currently under threat because the landlord has decided that it wants to take back the building and redevelop it and turn it into a completely different experience with a single screen cinema, um, which is a completely different offer than what Curzon has offered for the last 90 years. What we intend to do once we get a new lease, and we are fighting for a new lease, is to protect that listing by investing in the building um, to enhance its original um, beauty and splendour from 1966. Curzon have commissioned us to have a look at a sensitive restoration and refurbishment of their cinema. We are working with Curzon to find a way to refurbish um, but sensitively restore the cinema to its former grandeur by, by just looking very closely at all of the elements which have changed perhaps over the years that need to be lovingly put back. Uh, and restored, but also with a commercial view for Curzon to go forward in the new world of cinema and, in fact, the projection of moving images, which isn't just film now, um, uh, as a community asset, because this building is particularly important for this community. Recently, we completed the BAFTA headquarters on Piccadilly, uh, which has won um, embarrassingly, 12 awards uh, so far, most recently uh, for the RIBA. Um, and I believe that it, the experience there, um, gave us uh, particular insight into the sensitivities of the film industry. Curzon has been here since 1934, probably the only company that is still operating the same cinema for, from its inception. With the right company to continue to operate and nurture this wonderful cinema because of our experience and track record over the last 90 years. I think a cinema caters to an audience and therefore um, the way it develops is how its audience would like it to develop because if it's managed well it, managed, it manages in response to the audience. And the reason that this cinema has built up a constant loyalty from its audience is that there's a, there's a certain uh, consistency of approach. Um, fairly low key management, polite staff, you know, keeping things polite, but you know, not overwhelming them. Um, and showing films that are, uh, you know, what I would call middle-brow films, probably. I mean, they're not blockbusters, they're not incomprehensibly, um, you know, intellectual challenges. And uh, that's really all I can think. I mean, uh, you know, why change it? I mean, it's, um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This Curzon Cinema hosts some of the most important pr world premieres. Our own film, uh, Parasite, premiered here in 2020. And Bong Joon-ho, the director, came onto this very stage the night after he won the BAFTA award 
for Best Foreign Language Film. He went on to win the Best Oscar Film, which is the first time either Curzon or a foreign language film had ever won the Best Film Oscar. One of the things that we love about Curzon Mayfair is uh, it, it's the original. I mean, it's, it, it, there's a reason why Curzon are called Curzon. It's because of this site as uh, originally a cinema here since 1934. And then um, they themselves, Curzon commissioned a new Curzon cinema in 1966. And in the height of the great 60s revolution in culture and art, um, they uh, commissioned to really well-known artists of the day. Um, first of all, William Mitchell, who did these amazing um, surrounding walls, um, which were, uh, are such a terrific part of the atmosphere that's created here in the cinema, as well as a moving um, wall uh, in the reception area. And um, the fantastic ceiling that we're sitting under here in the main space is also by Victor Vasarely, who many consider one of the godfathers of the op art movement of the 60s. And this kind of close collaboration with artists is something that we've done in our practice, but um, it's something that makes this particularly special cinema uh, one of the most, if not the finest, bespoke cinema made for um, Curzon by Curzon um, in the country. We had a, an acoustic consultant who worked out how to create just the right sort of acoustics in the auditorium and also had the idea of a, a staircase leading from the foyer into the auditorium which would have no doors and because of the shape of the wall the shape of the walls and the material being used on the walls which was which was a carpet effectively there would be no sound emanating from the auditorium into the uh, foyer and vice versa and that's pretty much works to this day. And they also created the, um, the boxes that still exist, which is a unique feature actually. The atmosphere particularly of this cinema, unique as far as I can see in any other cinema around the world that I've been to, is you pop up into the middle of the cinema from the, re from the reception and area. And uh, it's just so unusual, you have this amazing ceiling um, but the way that you pop up into it is extraordinarily special. The Curzon Mayfair is the home of independent film, particularly high quality, critically acclaimed independent film. And this has happened right from when we opened in the 1930s. Some examples of films that have come through here, The Bicycle Thieves, played for 22 weeks in 1950. Also in 1950, La Ronda, that actually played here for 70 weeks and half a million people came to see it in the cinema. It is also the home of the, Mo of the Merchant Ivory films, which now form a part of Curzon's own film catalogue, which we look after. But in the 1980s, the highest grossing film we ever had here was Howard's End, and Room with a View played for multiple weeks as well. The programming in the early days of my memory was connected with foreign language films which were imported into the UK and first seen in this cinema and often not seen anywhere else really because the uh, releasing of foreign language films were very limited in the early days. My father used to import foreign language films when that wasn't a common activity and my mother used to do the subtitlings so she would sit at home with spotting lists and, and she had a machine in those days, a much more complicated process than now and uh, I would see her working away doing the subtitling. I think you're beginning to see the kind of diversity and breadth of film and independent film that we have here but also the mainstream Hollywood distributors from Disney, 20th Century Fox, Warner Brothers etc. They all come here with their films particularly the Bond films. They love this huge cinema with its big screen and great sound and comfy seats. And Londoners flock from all over to come to the cinema to see the Bond films. Robert De Niro came for Irishman q and I think that was like a kind of pinch me moment for everybody. And it was a Q&A and BAFTA were running it. 
Um, and I think, yeah, everybody felt like very, very lucky to have got one of the 307 seats available for that one. I've been here for 33 years in London. It's home. Uh, but I remember distinctly when I was first here as a young man uh, coming to Curzon Mayfair, being invited by friends to say, oh, we'll see a film at Curzon Mayfair. It, it already then in my 20-year-old um, self meant a kind of... Um, uh, proof of quality. You knew that you were going to see a really interesting film if it was playing here at Curzon Mayfair. We had um, we had a, a premiere screening recently and the director said what a privilege it was to show his film here because this was the first place where he watched a foreign language film. And I think like that, you know, this venue represents, you know, history and prestige. And, and I think also, you know, we always uh, aim to provide a certain level of attention to detail and service and I think when people come here they know that they're going to be well looked after and that's something that we as a team um, always strive for. People would say to me oh I love the Curzon cinema and they mean Curzon Mofa because the seats are so comfortable. Now as it happens the seats were not much different from other other cinemas they all improved but it was their way of it's the, that their way of saying they'd had a very agreeable experience and they attach that you know to the to the seats this venue is so special for so many different reasons it's important historically it's important to the industry you know we host so many things that are important to the industry and keep the industry running um, and i just think the shared experience of people being able to sit together and share a few hours in somewhere like this is, you know, this place should be available to everybody. And, but yeah, when you are like the steward of a space like this and you put so much time um, into it, I think for me and my team, like there's, there's nothing, there's nothing sadder. Like there's nothing more devastating than thinking that we wouldn't be able to come here anymore. Curzon is inside something called the Landlord and Tenant Act 1954, which gives us the right for a new lease. The Lannels decided it doesn't want to grant us a lease. And in certain circumstances, that is right. It's going to be tested in court, but we hope with the public campaign behind us, we'll be able to persuade any court that the legal position is clear. Curzon should remain on this site for the next generation. If you want to support our campaign, please come and join us. And you'd see the website details, savecurzonmayfair.com underneath. Thank you very much.